Attention! This video was taken using a smartphone camera that was popular at the beginning of the heyday of the MI Dynasty, and supported using a cheap tripod. If you feel pain in the eyes after watching this video, please immediately see a doctor to anticipate damage to your eyes. Note, this video was translated by Google. Hey guys, how are you today? Now on this video I will show you how to install Hackintosh High Sierra 10.13 on your PC or laptop. Before that, you need Transmac and SD card or USB flash drive with 16GB size capacity to create USB bootable. Okay, let's begin. Download Hackintosh Zone High Sierra Installer Torrent from the official site Hackintosh Zone. After that, extract the installer zip. Open the torrent file and download the DMG file with torrent downloader. Next, open TransMac if your download was complete. Right-click, run as administrator. Select your USB drive. Right-click, and format disk for Mac. Format complete. Select your USB drive. Right click, restore with disk image. Select the DMG file. Wait until restoring complete. Restart your computer. Enter the BIOS setup. I 
only made a few changes to the BIOS settings. Please find other references for more complete BIOS settings. Set SATA controller mode option to AHCI. Disable virtualization and VTD feature. Set boot priority order to plus USB HDD. Save and exit setup. Select Hackintosh Zone High Sierra Installer on your boot menu. Select the language you want to use. Before continuing installation, open the terminal to change the date and time. If this is skipped, an error message will appear, couldn't install blah 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 on your computer. After changing the date and time, close the terminal window, and open the disk utility. Check show all devices in the view menu. Select which partition to install. Erase partition and name it according to your wishes. Select Format Mac OS Extended Journaled. This process will delete all data on the partition you selected. When done, close the disk utility window and continue to the next step. Select the disk on which to install. Customize installation setup. Adjust the installation settings to your computer specifications. For bootloader I chose the Chameleon standard, because in my opinion, this makes it easier for me to use boot flags if something is stuck while booting. No need to enter the settings to add boot flags, but if you use Clover, you can easily adjust several settings such as mouse sensitivity. In some cases, on OS X High Sierra, the keyboard and trackpad don't work. To overcome this, check mouse and keyboard support in the laptop driver's KEX drop menu. If you already do customization, you can continue the installation process.
The installation process can take anywhere from 16 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. When the installation process is complete, you will be asked to restart your computer. Restart your computer and boot into the operating system that you have successfully installed. Choose your country. Now, you only need to follow the setup steps according to what is displayed in the video. Select your keyboard layout. Create a computer account. Until here everything is finished. You only need to identify the keyboard according to the direction on the keyboard setup assistant. Done. Now you can start using Hackintosh on your computer. The Wi-Fi didn't work. Until now, I have never been able to overcome this problem. Instead, you can use Bluetooth tethering to connect to the internet. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.